Let's look at some MAGA copium on the Georgia indictment. Hey y'all, as of August 15th, I'm just here to tell you that Biden is still the worst president in the history of the US. And guess what else? You ready? I'm an intuitive empath. My intuition is never wrong. So guess what? Trump is going to be a free man. He's gonna walk away free. She couldn't empath her way into knowing her smoke alarm needs a new battery. Let's watch this guy. On the 2024 election is canceled in the United States, according to Roseanne Barr on the Tim Pool podcast. They've been it's like me doing a video being like, Stavros Halkias went on the Ari Schaefer podcast and called out Donald Trump. <laughs> like, what are you saying right now? What are you saying? What a, what a sentence. Like, are you not embarrassed to have that come out of your mouth? What the fuck is going on there? Roseanne Barr and Tim Pool? What, what is happening? Indicted Donald Trump for everything shy of the extinction of the dinosaurs, and it's still not working. So the only option that they have left is to enact war to keep Donald Trump RFK Jr., DeSantis, or really anybody else that they can't control out of office. The only real question is if this happens, when this happens, will Americans finally rise up? Will they finally take action? Or will they just sit passively by like we always do? I don't even... I, this guy looks like I can click on him in game and buy an elixir that kills me with one sip. <laughs> Three things that we should be very fucking frightened of. The idea of criminalizing questioning an election the idea of criminalizing that should scare the fuck out of you they're wanting to try to put our man in leg shackles over this shit and uh well gee let's go back and think about who someone needs to explain to me what the fuck is going on with the interior decorations of my man's house what is happening in this domicile what decisions led to him filming the titty angle that i post every now and then it's a rock climbing stove what al gore i remember doing it <laughs> but he lost the bush uh let's what? see who all else I don't think. hillary yeah Question the fuck out of the election and take <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love the mannerisms. <laughs> yeah. Hillary? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me think so. <laughs> well, then there's, uh, geez, right here in the state of Georgia, Stacey Abrams, her foul ass. <laughs> Wait, it's funny when, like, Republicans just hate Stacey Abrams. It's like, I'm not the biggest fan of Stacey Abrams. I feel like she is uh, hyped up by liberals. Immediately what she did after getting a Michael Bloomberg bag was kind of run defense for him. She also went and worked for Center for American Progress. I will never forget that. To me, that actually signals that this person is just, like, a machine politician. But, like, why the fuck does he hate her for, like, losing? Like, I don't get it. She keeps losing. So why do you hate her? I mean, I know why he hates her, but she's black, a woman. And also she's like considered like an enemy from Fox News and all the other people that he watches, I guess. Ew. Only difference is if liberals actually pushed as hard as Republicans did to investigate, uncover, and rectify election interference done by the Republican Party, they would be able to genuinely create more equitable outcomes for the country because the elections process would be much better. Most of the time, through legal hurdles, the Republicans always create some level of election interference, some ele uh, some level of, of suppression, voter suppression. They do it all the time. So when, yes, Stacey Abrams is complaining about running against the Secretary of State who is purging hundreds of thousands of people off the, off the voter rolls, like, that's a very valid thing to be angry about. Complaining about shutting down polling stations in black and brown neighborhoods is an understanding thing to complain about if they fought as hard as republicans did for nonsensical bullshit that aren't even real that are totally made up like uh illegal immigrants are voting you know ballots are being swapped around like all this other fucking fake nonsensical bullshit that republicans fight super hard for if democrats fought as hard they would actually get seriously good positive outcomes that does not want you to bear arms that should really scare the fuck out of you especially when they want. I want this guy to bear arms, brother. There's one thing I want. I want him. I want him to bear arms. To arm the IRS. Not uh, not like that, though. I mean, people are seeing this shit going on around them, and they're not really 
fucking taken the hint that this means everybody. This means war, brother. No longer keeping it clean. So, excuse my language, okay? But was Oh god. This guy used to annoy the fuck out of me. I'm so glad he's washed and completely irrelevant now. I he used to annoy me so much cuz of his like cuz of the way I feel like there's something about him that like is self-aware almost or like maybe how smug he is, you know what I mean? He's just like, yeah, I'm really popping off right now. It's really really fucking annoying. I assume this is how Republicans see most liberals and even my haters see me. They're like, "Oh, Hassan, he's so fucking smug. He's not self-aware at all he's just like so smarmy you know i guess that's what it is but people hate like uh people hate their their uh, ideological opponents being self-assured and smarmy i don't know what it is but he i just i can't stand it going on with president trump is a bunch of bullshit and i got one thing to say fuck these democrats fuck them all yeah i said it fuck damn can you say that is that allowed because this shit that they are doing it's absolutely insane. It is disgraceful. Our founding fathers are rolling over in their graves right now. Another indictment. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Let me tell you, they definitely are, but not for the reasons you think they are, okay? I mean, come on, dude. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's continue. Lol, add a lot. Okay, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous for a black man, especially to say that. I'm sorry. Whenever I see that, I'm like, what? What are you? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, they are rolling in their graves, just not because like Donald Trump has been indicted or something. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, you got rid of slavery. That was the best part. What do you mean? That's what they would say. Another indictment for what? For what? What did he do? The only thing he ever did was say he was gonna make this country great again the only thing he ever did was put this country first the only thing he ever did was expose these criminals for who they really are and if they didn't steal the 2020 election then they show are acting guilty right now if they didn't steal a damn thing why are they acting like this huh huh Dude, that's awesome. Uh, I don't know, because he did illegal shit. Like, what the fuck? Wow. What do you have to hide? Arresting me for murder, are you? Haha, <laughs> seems like you have something to hide. <laughs> uh, me thinks uh, you doth protest too much. Because the way they are behaving is how guilty people behave. When they have been caught. Telling the FBI agents uh, arresting me for, for a sequence of bank robberies all across the West Coast that they have something to hide by by arresting me. It's very clear. That much is clear to me. Seems like you're coming after me because you got something to hide. It's bullshit. And President Trump don't deserve it. You know who deserves this kind of treatment? Hillary Hunter Biden. Hillary Clinton. Oh, fuck. Oh, and I can go down the damn list. Leave president trump alone Leave and i'm telling alone. you right now we don't we do not please listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth we don't give a shit about these indictments we don't give a damn we voting for him <laughs> leave trump alone there's not a damn thing y'all can do about it if you put him in jail we still voting for the damn man because he's so damn good he can make this country great again, even if his ass is in jail. He can do a better damn job than y'all. So leave my president, Donald J. Trump, the hell alone. I love him. Okay, I miss him. Okay. I missed him. So right now, you basically have two choices. Either you are going to choose a side that is accused of conspiracy theory and not accepting the election, even though we know the left did it for four years. He was a Russian spy. There's all the videos out there saying illegitimate president, everything. Anything happened to him? No, because people on the right believe that they Yeah, here's the difference. And this is really important. And I don't know why people don't understand it. They didn't understand it like immediately in the aftermath of the election and they still seemingly don't understand it. Hillary Clinton conceded. She even wrote a book about it. Wrote a book about why she lost. Now she was of course pointing the finger of blame at pretty much everyone but herself despite the fact that she lost on her own. However, she still conceded. There's a transfer of power between Obama and Donald Trump. All of that stuff happened. All that stuff happened. The Russiagate conspiracies absolutely were a way to deal with the psychic damage of allowing someone like Donald Trump to be beaten by what many institutional liberals thought was the best candidate you could possibly put forward, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Okay, for sure. But Russiagate and all of this other stuff, some of which was 
perfectly valid to investigate, in my opinion. Like when you have a guy, a Greek guy by the name of Papadopoulos in your campaign uh, advisory position, openly telling people that you're getting classified information from Russian actors. When you're revealing that information to like random Australian ambassadors. Yeah, the, the federal government is going to go, okay, that's insane. One, why did you admit that? Two, we have to look into this now. Like there's valid parts of the Russia investigation, especially because some of the people involved went to jail. Paul Manafort went to jail. Like, what are we talking about? He was Donald Trump's campaign manager for free. Like, he pled guilty and went to jail. So part of this argument hinges on like, oh, it's just as silly like that Liptars were doing this. It's like, I've never been like a Russiagate. I've always shit on a lot of the Russiagate people that absolutely go nutty with it. Talking about like, oh, it's, you know, 9 a.m. Kremlin time. You know, everyone's a bot. Everything's are, everything's Russia, Russia, Russia. Certainly the liberals lost their minds over it. But there was still understandable, unobjectionable investigations conducted into the Trump campaign and transition team and their dealings with Russia or foreign agents like Michael Flynn, not with Russia specifically, but certainly with the Turks, Erdogan's regime, right? All of that is real. Those investigations were understandable. You cannot compare that to just making up a lie and then regularly pushing for that lie, actually using legal channels to advance that lie in the form of investigations, and then losing all of those court cases losing every single fucking recount and still saying, well, you know, maybe we should do some other stuff. Maybe we should go directly to the source. Maybe we should, uh, you know, stop and change the electoral outcomes regardless because we believe in our heart of hearts that we truly won and, and Joe Biden lost. There's a difference between the two. That's why no Democrats stormed the fucking White House. They didn't do that. They cried. You made fun of them for crying. Some of those tears were valid. Look at what has happened to bodily autonomy for women. They weren't wrong for crying, really. Holy shit. Turns out they had foresight. But more importantly, they cried, but they didn't try use extrajudicious power and illegal acts. Try and stop the regular order of business of the government from continuing. That's the main difference. They have the right to believe whatever they want and to investigate it as much as they want until some actual proof comes. Uh, but, so either you believe that the system, and you're on the side of Trump, that the system is breaking down, that they're going to- <laughs> What do you mean? Women's bodily autonomy was taken away in the Biden presidency, brother? Yeah, that in the words of uh, the brilliant political commentator, Aiden Ross, Joe Biden took away women's bodily autonomy. <laughs> Remember when he was arguing with uh, with Kai Sinat and Your Rage, telling him Joe Biden actually was anti-abortion? <laughs> that was awesome. Went to start arresting and are indicting and arresting the presidential candidate. Never happened in U.S. history before for all the people that think that civil war can't happen again or a revolution. That's also not true. Like, Eugene Debs, you fucking idiot. I mean, fuck it. Okay, even if you're not talking about Eugene Debs, how about... How about Tiger King? Tiger King ran from president, uh, ran from prison for president. But yeah, other than, you know, kooky ass fake candidates like Eugene Debs, he ran for president from prison. As well as lawyers that worked along with him, following everything that was according to the law, questioning the election, asking for audits, asking for election integrity. Those people are now being indicted and, and will be criminally charged if everything goes through. And then what happens after that? Who else? You don't think they're going to come for any of the influencers, any of the popular people <laughs> that said the same thing? Oh, no. They're coming for the influencers, brother. Oh, no. They're coming for Terrence K. Williams, brother. Dude, come on. Come on. Come on. I can only nut so hard. You know what I mean? What the fuck? That's crazy. First, they came after the president. And I did not speak out for I was not the president. Then they came after the influencers. <laughs> and I did not speak out for I was not the influencer myself. Then they came after the unsubscribed at the top of the hour. And I didn't speak out for I was subscribed at the top of the hour. And then before I knew it, they came for me. I saw a three minute ad break at the top of the hour because I forgot to resubscribe. I was wrong. Message to all the members of Cabal for pushing the new world agenda. 
You dirty little demons. Let's cut the shit. Dude, there's so many people like this that like you would just assume maybe back in the day were just like absolutely liberals who Trump bricked and are now firmly within the Republican camp, but not only just like a Republican, but like a MAGA Republican. Like this is like an empath. You know what I mean? This is the type of person who's like, I'm an empath. Shall we? We know what you did with the Titanic. We know what you did to JFK. We know what you did to the Twin Towers. Wait, what? Liberals did Titanic? Wait, what the fuck? Whoa. This is a joke, right? There's no way this is serious. What the fuck? Trump supporters, you guys have got to get out. Dude, every, every account has, like, a name that, that's like this. Every single one of these accounts are like, Voices for Raising and Freedom, brother. It's so perfect. Right now, get the hats on, get the flags up, get the yard signs out. Uh, start the Republican Party is basically a collection of people living in trailer parks who are working class but don't recognize that like their bosses are fucking them over and the Republicans are making it easier. And then small business tyrants who LARP as like everyday American working class individuals. That's it. It's quite literally just a perfect like this this list that we're watching is such a perfect distillation of like the Republican Party base of support. It's awesome. Showing up at these fraudulent court case deals and uh, show your support for Donald Trump. Uh, disclaimer, FBI, I'm not saying go down to the courthouse and overthrow it. You guys do that with your fake FBI agents, not us. We don't go for violence. That was an own on uh, January 6th. He, this man, this man destroyed January 6th with one word. We don't do that. You do it with your fake FBI female body inspector, they told me. I grabbed one titty, I'm going straight to jail, though. Fucking bullshit. 100% was there. Yes, of course. This man is the stereotypical guy who had way too much free time on his hands to be able to fucking fly out the DC on that day. One million P. Left wants to beat somebody up and hate somebody and loses their mind. That's not us. We stay calm, cool, and collective. Famously, Republicans never want to beat on people that they don't understand or hate because they have a difference in opinion. Famously. We wait for our time. Seriously, Trump supporters, it's time to get out. It's time. I like when he goes, you know, Trump supporters would never actually rise to action. We're cool, calm, and collected. But it's time for us to be violent. <laughs> time to get out, wear these hats mm -hmm. proud wherever you go. Uh, stand up to people. And uh, let's not back down. Remember, there are more of us than them. By That's not true. Bro, these people are so stupid. They have been deluded into thinking that they actually have popular support. Republicans, especially the policy agendas, have never had popular support. Never. It's not even popular in your dumbass fucking town, in your dumbass state, wherever the fuck you are. It's so stupid. Oh, God. Of course, you would delude yourself into thinking that, though, if, you know, Trump was president and the Republican agenda thrived and is still continuing to thrive through the state legislatures. You mentally think like, oh no, we're doing things. It's like, no, that's the Republican politicians that are enacting a cruel and unusually violent agenda without repercussion. It's unfortunate that uh, the people that are walking around with the 10 badges and uh, the three letters on the back of their jackets are all corrupt, but that's okay. We're gonna stand strong. We're gonna stand together. And we're going to make sure Trump gets back in office. And we're going to make sure this country gets straightened out. Let's go, people. Hoorah! Hey, truthers. Rough week. Told you it was going to be a rough week, didn't I? Damn, dude. Just being... Listen, love hurts. Love hurts. It ain't easy. It ain't fucking easy, man. Sometimes loving Donald Trump takes his toll on the soul. Takes his toll on the body and the mind. Like when he's arrested. Rough week to be an XQC fan for real, for real. <laughs> You got to stay in it, brother. There's no way in 2024 is going to be an election at the time of the election. You keep this in a safe place. What? All right. It might get taken down. But if it doesn't, just know that 2024's election will not go as planned. There's so much going on, so much happening. And you see. I mean, this guy is doing like the dream style camera angle in his own way, right? Like, which implies that he, he cares and he's like tried out the different angles. He's trying to maximize his Debrussy output, okay? He's not just talking about the election. That's secondary. The major reason here is he's trying to hit that Barbussy. What's coming next? <laughs> I hope you have Xanax. Anyway, what? God bless. What the fuck does that mean? Well, it happened again, Donald Trump.
What is happening? No, man. He got the broccoli cut and everything. Oh, hell no. He's sitting on a fucking DX razor in front of a crusty ass American flag that still has the folds on it. Didn't even iron that shit. Bro, you should be talking about Fortnite V-Bucks, okay? Did Donald Trump make it easier for you to, to access your mommy's credit card for Roblox money? Get the hell out of here, dude. Actual juicer. This is the juicer that calls me a pedophile when I talk about LGBT rights. <laughs> Trump got indicted. So we're oh, starting what? to see a trend here. Get Every it, time it. Hunter Biden faces some criminal charge or there's some problem within the Biden family, bam, Donald Trump gets indicted. So weird. And I've talked about this before, but the only other countries that try and jail, imprison, or kill their opponents are third world countries or dictatorships or communist countries. And they're doing this because they know voters will definitely vote Republican and definitely vote Donald Trump. And Democrats even doubled down with this, indicting. Yeah, you can, you can see, you can tell he's so 12 years old that he can't even fucking yell in his room because he doesn't want Barbara to hear. Breaking on MSNBC, a 43-year-old woman from Texas had been arrested by federal authorities for threatening Judge Tanya Chutkin. The federal judge overseeing the election interference case against Donald Trump. Ay, ay, ay. These people are so nutso, dude. Can't believe it's illegal now to say that you want to kill a federal judge. Since when? Since when is that not allowed? I thought this was a free country, goddammit. You know, Donald Trump is indicted again. I mean, the indictments are not going to stop. What, what was that? What was that one theorist? I don't even want to say it. The theory of trust the process. In the background, they are arresting them. They're taking them to Gitmo. Yes, trust the process. Don't do anything. Sit back, relax. Kick your feet up, put your hands behind your head and- Wait, what? Get some popcorn. Watch the show. Is he shitting on QAnon? I don't get it. Q. <laughs> oh, my. Give, a peep, give some people a little truth. And then you can just put a whole bunch of stuff on top of it. Trust the process. Yeah, he's shitting on QAnon. You don't Q see it with your own eyes that they're really, really after Trump. I mean, Joe Biden already said, well, what, well we're just going to make sure that he can't run. Oh, wait, he's a conservative who is shitting on QAnon, but he also is like, he's shitting on QAnon as a conservative, but also simultaneously shitting on Joe Biden. You, oh, so you just think that it's just going to be... Um, with the juries and, you know, and all that stuff. Oh, no, no, no. If it's not looking promising, the Democrats and Joe Biden will turn it up even more. You know, superseding indictments, indictments, the grand jury. Oh, let's talk about this grand jury. I mean, it's easy to have a grand jury where everybody in a grand jury is paid for. And it's easy to get an indictment. Hey, we got 100,000 for you, 100,000 for you, 100,000 for you. We're going to use your name. We're going to say that, you know, Donald Trump did this, 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 colluded. And then you got your indictment. Now you got the, the media talking about it. Media talk. It's all paid for, just like the science. You better wake up and realize what's really going on. Klaus Schwab and the World Economic... Yeah! Okay, he's a conspiracy guy who's saying QAnon is a psyop. Which, for the record, I feel like is probably closer to the truth than QAnon guys are. So, on that front, he's not entirely incorrect. You know what I mean? Like, saying Alex Jones and QAnon are actually government psyops are way closer to the truth than believing Alex Jones and taking him at face value and thinking he's a bold truth teller, or QAnon for that matter. For him? The World Health Organization, United Nations, all of them, everything is going according to plan. Billy Gates did say, we will definitely have another one. We're having, right now, we're having all type of diseases that are coming from old. Where did they come from? And who has the ability to... Un Bro, irony is like Legionnaire's disease or like a bunch of stuff that didn't exist in the continental United States for a very long time are coming back into the fold 
specifically because of people that have these kinds of conspiracies who refuse to take fucking vaccines or even try to, uh, you know, do home remedies and shit. It's so funny. They're like, oh man, where are these like crazy medieval times diseases coming from? Where are they coming from? It's like, brother, you are like partially responsible for it. You know what I mean? We just oh, watched. yeah, this is good. Is a far left wing nut job. She comes from a long line of left wing nut jobs. Her daddy belonged to the Black Panthers. Enough said. Let's get to it. There were legal challenges Let's get to it. in the courts, but being Fulton County and controlled by the Democrats, that wasn't done. These people for challenging the election, Donald Trump questioning the election, people going through voter registries to make sure that they wasn't dead or left the state is now criminalized. Racketeering, really? You dumb. These left-wing Democrats have turned this country upside down for nine years. Now this all happened in 2020, right? If it was such a crime, tell me, why did they bring up this back in 2020? Tell you why. Election. Wait, what? Okay. The Georgia situation has been investigated since 2020. Well, since 2021. Like, when Donald Trump made that phone call. Like, it's been known. What are you... Like, everybody knew about it. Everybody knew about the perfect phone call. What is she talking about? But it will be overturned by a higher court. Because this is just a bunch of conspiracy, racketeering, da, 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 da. They don't want Donald Trump to be president. So they're going to go after him and anybody and this everybody is me, associated with Donald Trump. That's their model. She thinks this is going to launch her career. And if she gets, you know, conviction, she's set. But she's a left-wing idiot. Left-wing idiot from a family of left-wing nutjobs. Let me tell you something. The only way we're going to end this shit is to take back the White House, take back the Senate, control the House, and then turn the tables right back on them and start prosecuting each and every one of them for the tearing this country up, abusing the judicial system, Weaponizing the judicial system. You won't, if they get away with this, nobody will be able to ever question them again. Is that how you want to live in this country? This woman was asked by a reporter, well, this looks like what you had uh, leaked out on your webpage. Well, I don't know nothing about that. This is not political. Really? It's not political? Folks? It just kind of makes me sad when I see someone like this age that looks like this speaking like this where I'm just like, dude, you're hallucinating.